Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today. This is a bridge card. It's a fun fold and it folds down flat like this so that it can go in an envelope. Um, and I've got the little above it all gondola hanging there. Isn't that so cute? Um, when I saw this set and I knew I wanted to make a fun fold, the bridge card was the first thing that came to mind. And usually when I do a bridge card, I have like a, a, a one inch strip that goes across here. And I thought, well, let's make the strip go across here. And that way the gondola can hang. I ended up adding snow across the bottom too. So, and it looks like my sentiment is coming undone. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make this. First, we're gonna make that snow background back there. And we're going to need grid paper and a long piece of basic white that is four by about seven. We're gonna cut it down into strips. Um, so I, when I say seven inches, it's a little, that's a little bit longer than what you actually need. Okay, so I'm gonna take balmy blue and I am just gonna go to town, kind of working around the edges towards the middle. And whenever you start, you wanna start off on the grid paper so that you don't get any hard edges from your brush. When you set the brush down, sometimes it gives you that weird texture like that. So start off on the grid paper. And depending on how juicy your ink pad is, will depend on how dark your paper is. My ink pad is not very juicy right now, so it's gonna take several passes to get to the darkness or the level of intensity of the ink that I want. I mean, I don't want it, you know, like nighttime dark, but I'm gonna add in enough to really give us that blue sky look. All right, now, that looks pretty good. That's that, just a little bit more. Okay, so now this is kind of a multi-step process for this background. I'm gonna take just some water and my um, water painter, and I'm just gonna flick some ink, and I want big drops and small drops, and I'm just gonna kind of let it sit there for a second. You'll see the um, ink start to lighten up, and you can leave it to dry. You can leave it there for just a minute. You can leave it there for however long you want. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna take a paper towel and pick up the ink. See how that, le that leaves some white? Because then I'm gonna take my, like, whoa, it's over here, stuck, my um, silicone mat. And I'm gonna put just a dot. You really don't need very much of craft ink. I'm gonna bring back that water and I'm gonna mix that water in like that. And then I'm gonna flick some more. So we've got a very snowy sky. All right, you can do this as much as you want. Okay, now if I had the lid for my water painter, I wouldn't have had to use my finger. <laughs> I may need to come back after I wash my hands. Let's see if I can get it cleaned up. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so set that aside and we're gonna set this aside over here to dry as well, okay? All right, let's make the other pieces. Um, for the background, you're going to get a piece of thick basic white, and I've already done the scoring, but let me show you what the measurements are. This is on a free PDF over my blog anyway. You can go over there, print it, save it, and you'll have the measurements, but it's eight by four and a fourth, and you're gonna score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three fourths. All right, and we're not gonna do anything yet with this. We're gonna um, cut apart that piece that we just did in a minute, and uh, put those on there. Okay, so let's do some stamping. We're gonna stamp the large tree um, twice. Okay, this is garden green, like that. And we're gonna stamp the small tree, and do I, yep, here it is, the small tree. We're gonna do it four times in garden green, one, two, three, 
four. Okay, then I'm gonna take Pebbled Path right here, and let me grab another sheet of grid paper. And I've got this half inch strip of smoky slate. And I'm gonna take this long, skinny, double line image, ink it up, and do my best to get it on here straight. Okay, there we go. All right, oh, let's leave that open on another piece. We're gonna do this little mechanism that goes across like that. All right, the other thing that you're gonna need is to cut out, and I've done some of this ahead of time, cut out two of our snow pieces using this die right here. And then also you're gonna wanna cut out two garden green trees, then cut out a real red gondola and a basic white, what do you call this? I don't know, this piece that goes on the front right here. Put an adhesive sheet on the back before you cut it out. That way it's a sticker and you can stick it right on there like that. Okay, you're also gonna need this little hanger piece in basic black. All right, now I'm gonna um, pause the video and cut all of these pieces out so you don't have to watch me cut them. And then I'll come back and we will finish. Okay, I am back. I have all of my pieces cut out here. Um, one thing that you wanna do to the gondola is get a little sliver of vellum and take your glue and we're gonna just put a little, whoops, that's a lot, a little bit of glue here, not too much. I probably put way too much right there. And take that vellum piece and lay it right across there like that. Okay, and let that dry while we work on the other pieces. Okay, let's bring this piece back. It's nice and dry. We're gonna need four slices that are seven eighths of an inch. All right, so I'm gonna start at the, um, what did we say this was? Seven inches, so I'm gonna put out my arm here and I'm gonna cut it down to seven eighths. Well, I've got all kinds of junk hanging around. Let's see, six, we wanna cut down seven eighths of an inch, there's one. And then we'll come right here and there's another. Ooh, that one might be a little bit narrow. Um, <laughs> uh, there's another one and let's do one more. That would be at three and a half, I believe. Then cut the remainder down to two and seven eighths like that. Okay. So you have this little leftover piece. I just made the piece just a little bit bigger in case you have, you know, in case I have some problems, which I normally do. Okay, now grab your adhesive and we're going to put these on here like this. So we'll start with this one inch section. That one's gonna go right there. Actually, I told you the wrong measurements. Mine are definitely too narrow. They should be one inch, not seven eighths. All right, that's fine, it'll work. All right, and then this piece definitely is two and seven eighths. All right, now take one of these guys and we're gonna cut it down to three inches. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off a little bit from each end and it will be right at three inches. Just a, we need a little piece of snow there in the background. And I'm gonna do a little bit higher so that it'll peak above this one that we're gonna put in the front like that. All right, so now I'm gonna take my trees and I'm gonna add them in here. There's one. Actually, you know what? I only did three trees. 
So we'll just take our paper towel and dab off that glue. Okay, now let's make it a bridge card. You're gonna fold the first line in and the second line out. All right, so in and out. Okay, so now you're gonna take your snow piece and adhere it. One thing I like to do is lay it down how it's gonna fit in the card. You're gonna, to fit, I mean, to fit in the envelope. You're gonna lay down one side and one side's gonna stay open. So I'm gonna put adhesive on the two outside sections like this. I'm gonna start over here, right on the edge and matching the corner. I'm gonna lay it across here like that. Okay, so that's how it looks when it's open. Now grab your scissors and we've got that, okay? Now for the gondola um, track, we're gonna put some adhesive on either end and put that towards the top. Give your gondola enough room to hang. All right, now take your trees and we're gonna use dimensionals here. Let's see if I can find my dimensionals. Put this one on the inside like that. This one on the inside. And then we'll put these on the outside of those like that. All right. Now we're going to take this and let's see if we're dry. Yes. All right. Trim this off. Just matching the edge of the red piece like that. And I'm gonna use, you know, normally I would use liquid glue, but because you gotta give it some time to dry, I think for the video, I'm gonna just use glue dots. Okay, so we're gonna put a glue dot down here and then attach that like that. All right, then get a, another glue dot or really use your liquid glue. And I'm gonna put a glue dot right there. Oh no, wants to hold on to my finger now. Oh my goodness, come on. All right, let's sandwich it in there. There we go. All right, to the little track holder. And then two more. We're gonna put adhesive here. And when I did this originally, I used liquid glue and then I used some clothespin, a little tiny clothespin to hold it onto the track until it was dry. That's gonna be much more secure than what I'm doing right here. All right, so then you just line this up right here and it will dangle. And that's so fun. All right, last but not least, I stamped my sentiment on vellum. And I did it ahead of time because you've gotta be very careful when you stamp on vellum. It's a non-porous surface and it is gonna take a while to dry. So I stamped this and gave it at least 15 minutes to sit there. You can also use uh, your heat tool to dry it, um, but be careful there too because it will kind of warp the vellum if you get it too hot. And then I just adhered it there coming out from behind the trees. And there you have it, a fun bridge card using our little ski chalet. Um, look, one of my trees fell off. Goodness, my adhesive is just having trouble this morning. A ski little chalet scene for the season. All right, you guys, I have two other videos for the Above It All uh, bundle. If you need more inspiration, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There's a free PDF that will have the correct measurements there for you. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.